guys welcome back to the channel thanks so much for watching today and we just got back from seeing the new movie the batman i was so hyped for this movie had the t-shirt i actually got this shirt almost two years ago after dc fandom in 2020 and we ordered it online and i finally got to put it into use we saw it tonight and i absolutely thought it was well worth the wait i'll go into my thoughts about the movie a little bit deeper throughout this but today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be unboxing the full set of the batman funko pops and we're also going to be talking a little bit about the movie giving my movie review so there are lots of pops that came out for this i actually have all of them except for one one of the chases i do not have but outside of that i have every single pop that has been released from this set because i was so pumped for it i had to make sure i got every single fungal pop and before we get into the video if i could just remind you guys as always just to go down below and hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers so help us hit that goal we would absolutely appreciate that and of course leave a like in the video as well if you enjoy it it just takes a second does make a massive difference so we'll start off by me giving my quick thoughts about the batman i really really enjoyed this movie i thought it was great so many cool things that came into this movie the character the acting the way they were shot the cinematography the story was done really well the action was great the coloring the sound everything was just epic and epic i think is a good way to describe it but it was also very layered at the same time i'm not going to try to get into spoilers too much in this video uh just because i don't want to spoil it for a lot of you guys and the spoilers are really you know a touchy subject for myself so i want to be respectful to you guys who maybe don't have the chance to see the batman right away or may have to wait until later in the weekend to see it but i really really did enjoy this movie a ton Robert Pattinson really brought it as Batman and Bruce Wayne. Absolutely fantastic. Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman was really a delight. She was really strong in this movie too. Colin Farrell really blew me away as the Penguin. We even had some of the other ancillary characters like Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon was great. And then we had Paul Dano as the Riddler was mind-blowingly Awesome, and we even had some cool surprises in the movie too. Some big pop moments and also just some other cool little surprises and twists we didn't quite see coming. And so I am definitely excited to, for where this iteration of Batman is going, where they're definitely making a sequel, of course. So I'm excited to see where this takes it, but I'm definitely giving it uh, two big thumbs ups. Absolutely recommend, whether you are a big Batman fan or not, I think you are gonna find a lot of things that you're really gonna like about this movie. And as we go through looking at the pops, I'll give a little bit more about my thoughts about the character, maybe what that kind of design or outfit really played a part in the movie and how impressive it was and how I enjoyed that. And also, of course, talk a little bit about the pops themselves. So we'll kind of go a little bit on both sides of the movie view and the pop review, which I think will be a little bit of fun. We've done these before and you guys seem to enjoy that. So we'll go ahead and jump right into taking a look at the pops. So the first pop we're going to be taking a look at is, of course, of Batman. And this one is definitely pretty cool. It's going to actually be a with him with his grappling hook which he actually uses a good amount in the movie and this pop definitely does look really cool and a couple of the details that i do like about the pop that you'll notice throughout all of the rest of the batman pops of him actually in the suit is how the suit kind of looks like it is kind of handmade a little bit with the stitching and they even have the details showing on the pop and you can see what i'm talking about kind of with the stitching outline there on the cowl for Batman that looks really awesome and I love the coloring of the suit it's kind of that darker gray but you still have the Batman logo being that all black that looks really cool and he is shooting the grappling hooks out of both of his gauntlets there and I think this is coming out of one of the fights he actually has in the middle of the movie where I believe he shoots both of his grappling hooks to take out some bad guys so this is actually a pretty cool action one as well and the second pop we'll take a look at is from one of the main villains of the movie and it is the riddler and the riddler is such a frightening character in this movie he is a full-on serial killer think of like a serial killer thriller type of movie that's what he brings to the table paul dano as the riddler is absolutely fantastic he really puts the fear 
into you and really keeps you guessing about what's going to be coming next throughout the movie. And the pop here really does bring a little bit of that scariness with it. And Riddler is wearing a green jacket with a matching green face mask and it really is menacing because it's kind of like a little bit of a hockey mask but his mouth is covered and it makes it in the movie he's kind of muffled in his voice when he's speaking which makes it sound a lot more sinister and he has the tape in his hand and as you kind of saw a little bit in a couple of the trailers he does use that to tie up things on his victims and then he also like writes messages on them and it is really really scary in the movie and you even see on his jacket he does have a question mark as well of course that little riddler logo and a really good reminder of how menacing he is in the movie next pop that we have is one of my favorite characters from the entire movie it is selena kyle aka catwoman and this one is actually her this is the common of her with the mask on and zoe kravitz plays catwoman slash selena kyle and she is amazing in the movie she really brings this sort of own charisma uh, that she can really take care of herself she was really physical in the movie you know kicking some ass and she had a really good chemistry with robert pattinson and batman it's actually cool that they brought her in a little bit earlier and allow them to kind of connect on that personal level of both them both being pretty young and trying to figure things out in their life but this pop is also a pretty cool one and selena kyle does have her all black and of leather suit on which she looks really great in in the movie and she can still do all of the moves can do all the kicks and everything with the suit on which is really impressive and she has the cat burger burglar mask on with the little cat ears on the top which i think was a really clever design for them to do that for this movie and then she also has the whip in her hand too that she can use while she's fighting and then there was also a chase for selena kyle that we were able to pick up about a month ago from the comic spot and this is selena kyle chase and it is just slightly different pretty much the same thing as we can see here except she has her mask off so we can see zoe kravitz face and in the movie she does have that short hair you'll see her put on wigs throughout the movie and then they even add the detail of her having her earrings in as well and there really were a lot of characters in this movie and they all brought in something really unique and one character that ended up playing a lot bigger part in the movie than i thought they were going to was going to be colin farrell's oswald cobblepot otherwise known as the penguin and at first when i saw oswald cobblepot listed on the pop i thought oh he's just gonna be like a character that kind of becomes a penguin he's kind of like a shady criminal type but he's not going to be really known as the penguin no in the movie he is known as the penguin and throughout the movie he gets more and more kind of menacing he kind of steps up a little bit more and the scene they show in the trailer of him and batman kind of doing a car chase that scene was absolutely awesome and he actually has a couple other scenes in the movie that are really memorable and add a little bit of levity to it too this oswald cobble pot here is definitely a really awesome one as well so but it's nothing too crazy for the pop he just has an overcoat on he has a suit underneath he's holding an umbrella in his left hand i do like the detail that they have on the face because in the movie his face is a little bit disfigured he does have some cuts on him so and a little bit of like wrinkles on the forehead so they do show that the cut the x off right under his right eye as well so they did try a little bit to add in some of those cuts and bruises and stuff that he has from over the years who knows how he got those because they don't really explain that too much in the movie maybe we'll learn about it maybe in the future HBO Max show they're doing or maybe in the next batman movie and this one did also have a chase which was nothing crazy just like the selena kyle one it's really small changes this one it's just him without the jacket so i wasn't able to get it so i thought it wasn't a big deal that i did not pick it up but of course the main character of the movie was batman and of course they're always going to put out a lot of batman pops and they put out a ton of batman pops for this line as well one of the batmans they did was actually exclusive to over to hot topic it is the battle damage batman and this one is definitely really cool and one of my favorites of the line 
just because some of the detail that we added in. I believe we've looked at this before when we picked it up, but we'll go ahead and take a closer look at it here. Batman's in a fighting stance. His leg bent a little bit, and he has both of his hands up, about to punch some bad guys. Some of the cool details is that it actually looks like he does have a little bit of damage. So where on his mask, it looks like there's a cut, a couple cuts on his mask and on his nose. And then when you actually look at his boots and look at his cape, things are getting a little bit dirty. And then even on his knuckles, things are getting kind of a little bit, there's a little bit of dirt on his knuckles and some cuts on his knuckles as well after he was punching even more guys. So it is cool that they added some of that detail in and I do like the suit on this and the stance. And they did spend some time in the movie looking at him as Bruce Wayne. And so they did make a couple Funko Pops of him as Bruce Wayne. And the one that went over to Target as an exclusive was this Bruce Wayne right here. And this is actually Bruce Wayne, that uh, outfit that is based on him going to a funeral during the movie. And so he finally goes out. It doesn't really go out too much, but he did go out to pay respects at this funeral. And so this is the outfit that he is wearing there. And it does definitely look like a Bruce Wayne kind of outfit. And I know a lot of people weren't big fans of Robert Pattinson's casting, but I think he does really fit in well as both Batman and Bruce Wayne. And he is a younger Batman, so having the longer hair like this does definitely work, giving a little bit more of that brooding type of feel. Uh, but he has his fists clenched down by his side because he knows something's about to go wrong while he's going out. But he just has an overcoat and the black suit on, so that's not crazy at all. But I still do really like the pop because it does remind me of those parts of the movie that were done really well. And I gotta say, my favorite pop of this entire line is this one. It's actually a Pop in a Box exclusive. It is the Bruce Wayne in the Batman suit. So at one point in the movie, he actually does just come back from the night of vigilanteing and he's kind of really exhausted. He comes in, he takes off his mask and he takes it, and he, but he still has the rest of his suit on. And I just really dig that a lot. And he has the black eye makeup right under his eyes, actually all around his eyes as well, kind of making him look like he's an owl, like a night owl that fits perfectly. Or of course a bat, you know, they have black around the eyes as well. He still has his long hair, which kind of coming down the middle as well. Cause he was a little bit sweaty, so it's not as neat and perfect as it normally would be. And you can definitely see the muscles kind of coming out on the chest and his arms and also down there on his legs too. So there's definitely some great detail added in that. And I just love the aesthetic of Bruce Wayne and Batman because they really do become the same person throughout the course of the movie, just like they do in a lot of the other Batman iterations. But there's just something I really like about this pop. So the last Funko Pop, at least a four inch Funko Pop that we are gonna be showing off today is going to be the Funko Shop exclusive of Batman. And this is Batman in the flying winged suit. And this pop is really awesome. And the way that they introduce that suit into the movie is really cool as well. And so it actually at one point in the movie he's trying to escape and he kind of runs over to a ledge and then he just presses a button on his utility belt or something. And then this expands and then he's able to just jump down and fly. But the cool thing is that he's a younger Batman. He's still also learning a little bit about his tools that he has on it with him. And so he doesn't fly it perfectly. He ends up hurting himself on landing. I really do like how it is shown in the movie. And I was a little bit curious about how it would work seeing the pop, but I do really dig it. After that, it makes me appreciate the pop even more. So it looks like Batman really does have the same head mold as the other ones of him in the suit, in the cowl but the rest of it is completely new. So he has his arms and legs kind of stretched out a little bit. And you see the suit kind of expand there. Kind of looks a little bit like a kite or a rug, honestly, just spread out. And then when he does jump out, he's able to kind of control himself and kind of just soar through the air. Not necessarily fly really well, but he's able to soar and kind of control himself a little bit. But I do really like the uniqueness of a pop like this, because you're really not gonna find a Batman pop like this anywhere else. And look at that. That is nine Batman Funko Pops. Building my wall of Batman Funko Pops. I don't even know if you can see me right now, but that's all of the four inch Batman Funko Pops. But guess what? We're not done because they also put out a number 
of larger pop, some deluxe pop rides, and a 10 inch pop that we have to take a look at as well. And when we're looking at the bigger ones, we'll start with the biggest pop that they made. This one is actually really awesome. It is the 10 inch Batman, and he is the battle ready Batman. And man, this guy is really, really awesome. And seeing him as 10 inch figure is even more cool. This is definitely one that you're gonna wanna display out of the box if you do get it of course a little bit easier for space but it's one that you're going to want to have on your desk because it is a really awesome figure so it is the same thing as the battle damage one except it is in before the damage actually occurs so it's in the beginning of the fight so he has the same sort of stance his fists clenched he's ready to fight his cape hanging behind him which i think is definitely great you add see a lot more of the detail of the mask and everything with him being 10 inch and i love how long the cape looks in this too so i absolutely love and this is one of my favorite 10 inch pops that i've gotten anytime recently and then they gave us a couple pop rides and the one pop ride that we ended up getting was going to be selena kyle on motorcycle and this pop this pop ride i don't love a hundred percent but i do think it is cool and again does kind of remind me of the character in the movie which i did really enjoy so it was definitely still worth picking up so we have selena kyle on her motorcycle that she's using throughout the film and she's a skilled driver there she has her helmet on and you can't quite see her face or her eyes through the helmet which is a little weird because they show on the box and you can kind of see it but that's all right and then there actually comes on a little bit of a stand or at least the the base of it rather so it's actually her driving down the road on the motorcycle which does end up looking cool as well and the last pop we're taking a look at for today is another one of my favorites from the entire set this is the pop rides batman in batmobile and i was excited to see the batmobile in person in the movie i we only, we only got photos like a while ago and you weren't quite sure how it would work in the movie i know a lot of people were against it because it kind of looked like a muscle car but let me tell you when it popped up in the movie it was absolutely sick the rev of the engine i was in imax so it the sound almost kind of exploded there and if you really felt the thrill you felt the power of the batmobile and although it's not the big tactical tank of the christopher nolan ones or even of the ben affleck um zack snyder ones or so the slickness of the michael keaton ones it really does fit in well with this story and this world so i did really dig the batmobile and the pop really does bring that to light I really do like how Funko has gotten better and better with pop rides that are specifically people in vehicles. It used to just be that they would have the vehicle and then there would just be like someone's head popping out the top or it wouldn't be so that a figure was actually fully in the car. But this one does have that extra detail. And so Batman is in the driver's seat and he actually, you can actually see him in the seat in the steering wheel and if you look down at a little bit you can actually see the rest of the suit in the detail with the boots and his gauntlets and everything so that's really cool they continue to add all of that in while sliding him into the driver's seat and then it does look like that muscle car a little bit like a camaro type of car but he does have a lot of modifications to it which you can definitely see on the back with the extra engines and everything and then where the fire comes out the back so then you see that first time it turns on the back lights up with fire and it is absolutely sick so i'm really happy with this pop ride as well so there is a look at all of the pops for the batman again i got every single one and it's actually just two i did not get there was the common uh battle ready batman but of course we got the 10 inch version of them and we did get the hot topic exclusive battle damage version and then we did not get the chase oswald cobble pot but that's all right because it's nothing too crazy different from the common so i'll go ahead and keep the common for myself here save a little bit of money on that now that we looked at all the pops and i gave a little bit my, a little bit about my thoughts on the movie i want to throw it over to you guys what do you think of the batman have you seen the movie what were your thoughts did you like it also what funko pops for the batman did you guys pick up for your collection what's your favorite from the line 
myself my favorite is definitely the pop in the box exclusive one bruce wayne with him and the batman suit i really do like the batman in batmobile uh, pop right as well those are probably my two favorite ones from this set let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and of course if you guys can make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button as well help us get to 2,000 subscribers and thank you guys so much for watching today and as always we'll see you again real soon